Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hans Osti and welcome to this oxygen not included colony where it is still quite cold, um, especially cold outside our uh, base inside. It's not cozy, it's above, it's above freezing. Um, and we only have four uh, duplicates. Last time we managed to uh, get this uh, volcano set up. And we also discovered this natural gas geyser. So what we will do today is we will dig over there. And and then we shall have I think some some storage tanks here um, not there there. And we have something in our printing press. Poke shell spawn or a timble reed seeds. We will take the, the spawn here. Um, we let him grow up and then probably uh, kill him. Um, barbecue or food is still uh, a topic uh, I think we do manage to to be somewhat stable with, with four duplicates uh, with, with our farm here and uh, also the uh, we have now a, a hedge farm which is growing um, but yes, so let's see, if we want to have the gas tanks, we probably need to research that first. Um, they are in here. We need anything else. Um, the gas filter now let's let's do this let's do this first and then yeah we already have the gas filter so we can do that and of course with only four duplicates work is not getting done fast and seeing that we have uh, a cook here uh, out of uh, the uh, primary food source that we harvest in whatever way we can cook out a bit more calories um, by that and we also have ensured that uh, the, the whole line here for our oxygen is insulated so we are not uh, losing too much heat on the way into our base so uh, on, on this asteroid we are actually using the uh, air we are pumping in to heat um, as opposed to to cool things uh, which of course simplifies this setup here because that means we do not have to uh, cool the air down the asteroid 
does that for us. And then probably once we have used up uh, uh, this water source, um, we only have water in the form of, uh, of ice here. So that probably means we have to melt ice. Which can be a whole other challenge uh, because with the, the heat sources that that we have they are not that great probably the best way to do it is uh, heating uh, liquid source up and putting ice into there but we if we harvest the ice these uh, 163.6 kilograms we only get half of that out that's uh, um, about 66 kilograms round about that doing exact math on camera is probably not a good idea um, we might also get water from a uh, uh, water or a steam vent uh, if we can find a second one because I think we will if our base grows we will need one vent for oxygen production currently we are producing quite a bit more oxygen than uh, the colony needs but we will see and we will also see how we are making progress when we are making progress so let's cut to that duplicants slowly are getting there so we can think about the next thing that we need um, first thing we want to have filter here um, which then will pump the gas there and there I guess we will have a wind now this setup requires power so I think on here we will have a coal generator and then battery there uh, which means we probably need a bit more uh, copper And then here we can have our gas tanks. Let's set up six for now. this up like that and then in here we will need a pump which will also require power um, here we need a floor tile and then we want to hook this up to automation and give all this a bit of priority you can also see what we have here yes copper we will take that gladly and 
then uh, we will have to wait for the duplicants to get more work done. Uh, we can, however, um, pipe this through already. Right. Then here is the outtake that we will take over to this side. And then here, I think we'll have a bit of a basin. Going there. And then we shall have. Something over here or where are they? I have not yet to research those. Ah we need the gas generators. So let's let's do that. Okay, we can then set the filter for natural gas. all this work queued up I think uh, it will take the duplicants a bit until it's done now with everything built up here and the research just completed uh, we can actually see that we can get this done uh, and I think um, one geyser is good for three of uh, of these vents and we will need gas pump here and of course this is the wrong way around uh, have to fix that before it will actually work um, and here on this side we also need to take this to the intake And then have the outtake here on this side. It's all a bit complicated. That's Prioritize this six, then here the gas correct orientation, and then this will also get a six, and then we need to connect the power here as well. And these will generate power, so we 
probably want what do we want one of these let's have a look they generate 800 watt so three of these generate 2400 watt uh, which is more than this one can handle so um, let's just use this one for now have a battery down here Here we have to set up the <coughs> correct filter. Prioritize this is six, and then after that, we can probably have a transformer. Um, that goes into our base. Let's have the transformer here. Uh, that will not work. That will not work. That will not work. We need to have... That going down there probably. Then the transformer here. This will work. And then hopefully. Uh, this one, yeah, still roughly 20 cycles away before we get any gold out of it. But if we get the gold, we could then lay gold wire into our base um, to set up uh, the, the power supply. And eventually we will probably need more than than one uh, power supply, but or one one wire. But I think for for the start, this will do nicely. Um, so this one should run more often than that. So. That means we have maybe 25 to 88. And we need to wire this up. And once we have that power cable built, then basically we the, the whole production here could start working. Um, we also probably want to analyze that one. It's not highest priority. Let's get to it. Um, we also want an Atmos sensor in here. Connect this up. 
we we only want to pump things out when there is a, a certain uh, amount of of pressure so it makes sense to pump things And then we want to get, have a look here on this side, just to see what we have there in the dark. And I think when we have this setup here finished, we can call this quite a productive episode. So uh, let's wait and see that happen. Now this went quite fast. Uh, everything is set up. Uh, Say if the uh, analysis that can take a while. But it looks like currently it is dormant. So we will not yet produce uh, any power yet. But maybe until we get to that point, we have a bit of uh, gold so we can do proper wiring. I have also been digging here over to this side to uncover a bit more of the map in the hope we find something interesting. The only thing we can gleam here on this side is another one of these new machines that I do not know what they do. And here at the bottom I tried the, the same approach. So far without luck, uh, but I think we made good progress and hopefully in the next episode we can uh, garner our uh, labor that we did for uh, the gold volcano for the natural gas geyser and actually get something out of it so hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time for more oxygen not included until then goodbye